what I do as a consultant is simple. I share products that I use and love and help other people start and grow their business by doing the exact same thing. So you're saying that you recruit. You're saying that what you do, what you do in Arbon to make money because you share it with people and get them to share to others to run the business. That's that's called recruiting, dear. My name is Laura and all my links are down below if you would like to check them out. Today we are going to be diving into an opportunity call Discover Arbon. I know nothing else so let's find out together. Let's check it out. Hi guys! Alright, I am so excited that you guys are here and first off I just want to say thank you for being here and giving yourself permission to learn more about this incredible opportunity with Arbon. I'm going to keep this as quick as I can, but I will touch on what most of you are likely curious about. I'm going to start with my story and why I chose Arbon. I'll share who Arbon is and what we stand for as a company, and then what the heck I do as a consultant and how I make an income. And then lastly, I will finish with what this business can do for you, your family, and the trajectory of your life. Um, but before I jump in, if you're interested in typical earnings, you can visit Arbon.com. Okay, so she has to start with a disclaimer, which is typical earnings, find it at earnings.arbon.com. Now that is the income disclosure statement. And Arbon is really good about having to do that now because they've had trouble with the FTC in the past where they have not disclosed or made serious earnings claims and now they have to put that in any kind of post or anything related to talking about them making a certain amount and that those results are not typical. Off by introducing myself, my name is Christy and I live in Maine with my husband we have a four-year-old daughter, Evelyn, and we also have a baby boy on the way. And I took the, you know, traditional route and went to the University of Maine in Orono, where I got my bachelor's degree in kinesiology, health, fitness. And then after that, I moved to Boston, Massachusetts and jumped into the workforce as we're taught to do at the Boston Children's Hospital. And I worked super long hours, so long, and spent way too much time commuting back and forth to work. So after five years of that, I decided to make the decision to move back to Maine, to be closer to family, and really just figure out what I wanted out of life. I knew there had to be something more than working for somebody else's dream, but I didn't know what. So fast forward to 2018, I became a mom. And if you're a mom, you know what an emotional roller coaster that first year of life is. I struggled with postpartum anxiety, which felt so crippling at times, while... Okay, so we're getting into being a new mom, going through postpartum anxiety, which is another vulnerability. Your emotions, your hormones are all out of whack. So we're already placing vulnerabilities and putting that into our why story. She's telling her why story, why she got involved with Arbonne in hopes that something from her story tugs at your heartstring and being relatable to you going through a certain situation, becoming a new mom, having postpartum anxiety or depression, having these various things that business opportunity could help you, could help you stay with the kids, could help you. What What's the other thing she said? Commuting a long way and being really burnout or something like that, working these long hours, still selling the life, the dream, the hope, all that stuff. And we haven't even gotten into what Arbonne is yet, which is funny because when you think of a Discover Arbonne call or like an opportunity call, you'd think that they would start talking about maybe the products and the expectations, but no, they start talking about their why story. And why? Why? Because stories sell. Trying to soak up those you know, baby snuggles that are so fleeting. So when Evelyn turned one, I knew I needed to make a change for me. I had no idea what that change was. I just realized I could make myself big, so I'm gonna do that over again. 
the reason she's going into her why story and she's hitting on these vulnerabilities, she's talking about postpartum anxiety, being a new mother, struggles with commuting, struggles with uh, long hours, a lot of these vulnerabilities. Why? Why is she going into this? And why have we not heard about the products or anything like that? You'd think that we would be talking about the products or the expectations of the opportunity. No, what we're talking about is the story. And why? Because stories sell. And stories sell the opportunity of hopes and dreams. What it looked like, but I knew something had to give. I was truly on a mission to find my passion again. Don't get me wrong, being a mom is the most incredible job I will ever have, but I wanted something more. I wanted something to just pour my heart and soul into. Something that would give me my passion back. And at that time, I had no idea what that looked like or what I was even looking for, but I knew I needed something. So six months later, in the summer of 2019, Arbonne was introduced to me. I will never forget this day. I was sitting on the beach with my mom, talking to her about, you know, how I need more. I was lacking passion, um, motivation, and I just needed something for myself. That's when I opened a message on Instagram from a girl I had never met. However, we had been following each other for a while. Um, we connected on Instagram. Oh, you don't say you never met this person. Suddenly, we're DMing each other on Instagram and talking back and forth, gaining that relationship, and then going in for the kill. We're both pregnant with our daughters, and her message was basically asking me to join her in our. I immediately wrote back, you know, kindly declining, but um, mainly that was because back in 2015, I was part of a social market. I am a full social marketing. Write that one down. That's another one, apparently, because we've got multi-level marketing network marketing, social retail, direct selling, what else? I guess social marketing. Quarter of all social marketing. However, because of my past experience and partnership with this company, I know firsthand how important it is for you to personally align and believe in the company's vision and their standards. So Elle continued to keep in touch with me, asking me to join her in Arbonne, you know, every month or so. And while I continued to kindly decline, I was watching her journey. I was seeing how authentic she was in sharing these products, how seamless these products fit into her family's lives. And most importantly, I saw how happy she was. It's really funny that she's talking about how authentic her upline the person that got her into Arbonne is about these products when she hasn't even mentioned what the products are. And why is that? Well, there's a couple reasons that I suspect. One is that Arbonne has a lot of products, so it's kind of hard to narrow down the specific products. Another reason is because this call is about getting you recruited. It's not about talking anything about the actual products because recruiting is what we're going for in a Discover Arbonne call. That is what we were told to do. That's what makes you the most money because you're developing a team. That's what gets you the most bonus checks and commissions. That's what grows your team and gets you promoted so that you can earn that free Mercedes, which by the way is not free. Totally, you have to lease it out and your own name. And then if you don't meet the requirements for the rank, then they won't reimburse you and you're, you have to make the payments. It's all about the recruiting right now. In Discover Arbonne, it's all about the recruiting, so they're not really focused on the products. So on December 3rd, 2019, right before the craziness of the holidays, I started my Arbonne business for going back to... Sorry for stopping again, but $49 is the amount that gets you in without any of the product pack without anything else. It's just the business suite of basically being able to have that. It's actually the $49 is yearly subscription to having your website, which is really just a website. It's, it's a duplicate website. So it's not really your own website. You can't change it or make it your own. It has to be 
it's just an Arbon website with your name attached to it so that when people click on that link and, and direct traffic to it, you get the commission from that. So that's what you're paying for. Your upline is supposed to convince you to purchase more, such as the 30 Days to Healthy Living, which is very, very expensive. I think with the discount, it's in the 200 $250 or something like that for the, the set, and you get a supply of protein powders and various like gut health stuff, various nutrition and wellness stuff in it, including fizz sticks. And the regular price of that is twice as much, so about 500 something dollars. Then there's also makeup or you could go with skincare. It really depends and they'll definitely try to get you to spend as much money as they can before just letting you sign up with the $49 because just letting you sign up with the $49 doesn't really get them anything other than you being under them as a recruit. So I highly doubt that she spent just $49 to start because you kind of have to be a product of the product as they say. Believing in a company's vision and their standards, let's talk about why Arbonne. So it's really simple guys. Arbonne is a 42 year old health and wellness company and their mission is to empower people to flourish with sustainable. That, my friends, is taken right out of a copy and paste for Arbonne. Written for, you just read it off, empowers you to flourish from the inside and out from Arbonne. That's what they say. Every time, it's not anything new. It's not your own words. When we say flourish, it's from the company. It's what we're told to say. And... I know that they have strict things that they kind of have to cover in Discover Arbonne. A lot of the stuff is very specific about what to do. With a lot of MLMs, there's a lot of copy and paste going on, and this is a very generic thing. We talk about how long the company's been around because that is supposed to make it sound more established and less of a scam because if we were a pyramid scheme, which is illegal by the way, then we would have been shut down a long time ago because we've been around for 40 something years, don't you know? And we're also a certified B Corp company that puts people over profits and we really care about people and we have green, sustainable, vegan products you will love. They are amazing on your skin and nutrition, everything like that. I've heard it all. We've said it all. He is truly the pioneer in clean beauty, clean products, non-toxic, cruelty-free. All of their products. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I just read out the script for you before she said it. This is, I'm an ex Arbon rep and I know what's coming. I knew that she was about to get into the how it's clean and vegan and toxin-free. We use European standards, not the US standards for the health of our products. So we ban over 4,000 toxic ingredients. And some of those, you may scoff and wonder why is Xanax banned when it shouldn't even be in skincare in the first place? But yeah, they throw in a lot of things that you would normally ban anyway. It's just a whole thing that they just, they do. So I could read this script to you guys and do an entire mock Discover Arbonne because I've, I've done them before. Created and tested by scientists, clinical research teams, and holistic experts. Not only that, but Arbonne pays for clinical research or clinical testing um, on their products so that we, their consultants, can speak to these products with full confidence that they are going to do what they say they're going to do. Do they pay or do they pay off the clinic? Okay, I shouldn't say that because I'm speculating, so ignore that. Arbon not only offers it all from makeup, skincare, nutrition, body care, men's care, baby care, <laughs> But all of these products are gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, cruelty-free, free of any artificial sweeteners, and all purchases come with a 90-day money-back guarantee. Arbonne is so transparent 
and in my opinion, offers the absolute best compensation. I could write this in my sleep. I could read this out in my sleep. That's another thing that MLMs tend to say, no matter what MLM it is, we have the best compensation plan because the compensation plan is the way that you get paid and you can get paid 17 different ways. And not only that, but you can get paid every Friday every week you get paid every week how awesome is that you get paid five times a month because you get paid every week and then you get paid on the 15th of the month that's not our bond i'm just saying in general the idea is that the best compensation plan ever puts you in the possibility category versus the income disclosure earnings.arbon.com that puts you in the facts and statistics and what has actually been proven and shown for what people actually make. So you've got what people have actually made in the year of the income disclosure versus what people could make based on bonuses and the bonuses are most likely based on recruiting and building a team and then one of those bonuses would be based on actual sales research on this company i knew without a doubt that this is something that i could stand behind so this brings me to what the heck do i do as a consultant i am sure you're all wondering you know how we run our business how we find our clients how we get paid so first i'll say um what I do as a consultant is simple. I share products that I use and love and help other people start and grow their business by doing the exact same thing. So you're saying that you recruit. You're saying that what you do, what you do in Arbon to make money because you share it with people and get them to share to others to run the business. That's that's called recruiting, dear. Bless your heart. Okay, that's a southern thing because I'm from the south. All right. Simple, but it's not easy. And like honestly, nothing worth having is ever going to come easy. So you have to put in the work. But I can assure you that I will match your effort every step of the way. So I want to share with you um, three top fears and hesitations that I get most often, and I felt myself. So the first one, I don't know enough people or have a big enough fall. And then the second, I'm worried what others think about me. And then number three, I'm too busy. So I can tell you. Or she explains those. She's already talking about overcoming objections in this opportunity call. The thing is about this is that overcoming objections is a nice way of saying no means not yet, which is another thing that has been said in these. So there's basically whenever somebody is trying to say a polite reason for not being interested, like these reasons that she named, they're trying to be polite. In most cases, they don't want to join and that is perfectly valid. They have their reasons and they're trying to be polite. And this type of training about overcoming objections tends to make it so you're pushy and that you are constantly asking people to join and then convincing them, trying to convince them to join and continuously bugging them until they say yes and being a prospect so that you have to follow up with them. And this is Arbon because I, in Arbon, I was in Usborne Books and more and I was in Arbon. I will say that Arbon, in my opinion, was a lot more a lot more going on because of the health and wellness aspect and just the way that they do things a little bit differently but anyway they're all essentially not great and that i would say around like 85 percent of your customers and team that you build will be people that you haven't even met yet your close circle are usually the last people to buy in because they want to watch you and know that you're in it. So your friends and family are the last to buy in because they want to watch you and see how you progress so that they see if you're in a scam or not and if it succeeds. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my hair. That's saying something right there. Your friends and family are hesitant to purchase from you because they, or they're just like, mm, or they're hesitant to 
be recruited by you, I should say. In my experience, my friends and family wanted to support me and they would make a couple purchases to try to basically shut me up for a little while. And then they would not want to purchase anything else. And it got to a point where they had to firmly say no to purchasing or joining the team or any other ways of supporting. And the thing is that when you do that, if you have a friend or family member that's in an MLM and you feel like you need to make a purchase from them in order to help them out or help them get their money back or anything to support them. The thing about supporting is that it, it really is more of an enabling type of experience because it makes you see a little bit of success from family or friends and it causes you to stick around a little bit longer because you get that commission check off of the purchase that somebody made and you get a little bit of excitement from it and that in turn leads you to believe that it's not a scam and that you can make money and it leads you to stay in longer. The problem is a scam, you can still make money. It's not that we're saying that you can't make money with this, but in order to make a livable income, you're gonna have to recruit a lot of people and for 99% of people, they don't make money or they lose money. Statistics out there on it, and I will have those linked below for you. People's opinions, this one always hits home for me because I was literally terrified what people were gonna think about me. Were they gonna judge me, think less of me, um, think that I was one of those girls, whatever that means. The list goes on. But what I can tell you from experience is that when you decide to do something and jump in, with both feet, you will start to build this incredible confidence and it will literally just radiate to your network. I never realized how much personal growth I would gain through being part of Arbonne. It is truly incredible. And then lastly, the B word, busy. <laughs> so let me just tell you, you are not too busy to improve your life. There is no one in Arbonne that joined because they, they had all this extra time. They join to get more time. It's a season of hectic to get to this incredible life that you may not even be able to envision yet. So let me ask you this. If you keep doing what you're doing, what will your life look like in five years from now? If what you're seeing doesn't excite the hell out of you, change now, guys. I said earlier that they use their why story to incorporate at the very beginning to tell you why they joined in hopes of getting you to relate to them and relate to that story and eventually be able to sign up and join. They use these tactics, these manipulation tactics to prey on or to, to expose those vulnerabilities are your hopes and dreams. All of us have hopes and dreams of living a better life, having a better job, being able to provide more for our family, of being able to afford a better living situation, to be able to do various things and to have a little more time, a little more time freedom, which is really not as they say it is. I both like and hate that she said that you have to put in a lot of hard work. I like it because she has stated that it's not all easy. There's nothing easy necessarily about this. It's you've got to recruit people and you've got to do a lot of work on it. However, there's a lot of expectation and there's a lot that it's not going to work out for the people that you recruit and then they're gonna to have to do the same thing. So basically, you're recruiting people into the scam and then they have to recruit people into the scam and you all have to basically recruit people in order to stay afloat. Eventually, it's going to be oversaturated in, to such a point that it's not going to be worth your time or energy. 99% of people do not make money or lose money after expenses. There's a lot of expenses involved. I can literally go on and on about this because I am super passionate about it, but let's switch gears and quickly talk about how uh, we can make an income in Arbonne. So as I mentioned earlier, it's $49 to start your business. You immediately get a personalized website, content, and access to all of our training. We get paid five times a month. So four of those are, four of those checks are personal, direct sales. The fifth one is an override, which is basically a thank you for helping your team grow and just maintain their business. <clears throat> um, 
you'll get 15% on everything sold through your website. And there are four levels in Arbon, and a cash bonus is available for you to earn monthly at each of those levels. And this does include the Mercedes Benz cash bonus, the third level, um, where you can go pick out any white Mercedes um, of your choice, which is really cool. There are all inclusive trips for two open to meet consultants. To earn. I have to slow this down a little bit because she is brushing over a lot of details. Had, did you notice that? She's brushing over a lot of details. She's talking about the Mercedes Benz, but she's not talking about how you have to meet that rank each month in order to be reimbursed and that you have to take out a lease on the car. So you pick out a car, but then you have to take out a lease. Not to mention Mercedes Benz, the expenses on the maintenance alone is a, it's a lot more expensive so they and they don't reimburse you for any of that also the reimbursement depends on the level that you're at the amount of sales and recruits that you have so i did a full deep dive i will link that down below or it's also in my anti-mlm and deep dive playlists so you can check those out five different ways she was talking about being paid and then four of them being through direct personal sales is that what she said i wonder what she meant by that because it's like she's trying to make it sound like four of them were from sales and one of them was from recruiting and building your team and it's like a compassion bonus. That's not how I remember it when I was in it and I was in it in 2020. I doubt things have changed that drastically since then because it's 2022. It's only two years. I'm gonna have to check on that. See what she's talking about. Trainings on trainings on training. We are poured into constantly. There are no required monthly minimums unless you are trying to promote and grow within your business. So again, if you want to be or, you know, hear. Did y'all catch that? Did y'all catch that? She said there are no monthly minimums unless you are trying to grow. And I just find it funny because there are no monthly minimums unless you're trying to get paid in the ways that allow you to get that pay. We have certain monthly requirements, but those are really only if you're growing your team or trying to rank up, trying to get that Mercedes or trying to do certain number of things. But if you just want to sell stuff, then you still get your commissions without making your PV requirement or something. There's a lot in that that she brushed over. It's just really funny to me that she said about growing your team. There's no monthly minimums and requirements unless you're growing your team, basically. Unless you're recruiting, which you've Pretty much have to do. Those can be found at earnings.urban.com, but personally, I did not join this business for typical, and I'm sure that you wouldn't either. So that leads me into my final topic, and that is what this business can do for you. I don't know what it is. It seems like, oh, I know what it is. A lot of times, MLM reps will say how they didn't join this business to sell and recruit and build a team. They didn't plan on doing any of that. They just wanted in for the products and the discount price. And I actually made a I had it in my last video and then I also had it in one of my Elamir videos and also as a I talked about how people wanting to join just for the products and just for the discount is not really going to be that way because you're ending up getting hooked in, reeled in. They find a way to get you further because for me, it was the same way. I thought, well, I'll just get in for the discount so that I can get the 30 days to healthy living and try to help my chronic pain condition and I'll do that for a little while. While, and then it got to be you should you should note your progress on social media share it with your friends let them know how you're doing with it okay and then it's like you should get your friends to join in with you it could be fun and then you could grow your business as well okay see where I'm going it's a progression of manipulation so I have seen firsthand people go from living for the weekends living paycheck to paycheck, uninspired, passionless, and just totally riding the waves of life to becoming their absolute best version of themselves. No longer living the weekends, but enjoying every single day, matching, exceeding 
or even completely replacing their nine to five income. Uninspired, turn inspired, um, and just full of passion. Personally, I cannot imagine where my life would be had I not taken a chance on myself and said yes. And honestly, you guys, all it takes is a little courage to say yes to this business, to open up a whole new opportunity. And if it doesn't work out, like you're out $39, that's it. So thank you so much for tuning in and know that if I or someone um, else asked you to look at this business, it's because we see something in you. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and hope you have a great day. Okay, final thoughts. Be assertive and say no to MLMs. Say no to Arbon. Don't say yes. It's because they tell you to say yes. Also, it's not just $49 because it's $49 to join, yes, but that's not all you're losing. Even if we took out the monetary part where we talk about that's all you happen to spend, then you're very fortunate. Congratulations, you only are out $49. But normally, normally that's not the case. Normally you have to end up buying the products to be a product of the product, to sell the products, to get people to join you, to do anything in the business. You pretty much have to have a product pack of some sort. But let's just take that entire thing out of the scenario. Let's just take all of the monetary part. You are causing damage to friendships, to relationships. You, you're putting an emotional strain on relationships by talking with your friends and family about the business. Because when you do that, they don't know if you're, they don't know when they're going to have a regular normal discussion with you or when it's going to be about Arbonne. If it's going to be all about Arbonne, then they're not going to want to have that communication with you. So it's very important to realize that it's not just $49. It's not just the money period that's on the line. It's your relationships. It's your self-esteem. They say in a sense it can build self-confidence because you have to put yourself out there and be more assertive in, in certain ways with getting out there. On the flip side, it's damaging to your self-confidence. It's damaging your self-care. The amount of manipulation that you go under when you go through these types of MLM companies is very detrimental to your mental health. It can be de detrimental to your physical health. I'm stating this as my opinion, not as fact, but I have gone through it myself. So this is my experience and I know that there are others out there that have a similar experience. So Keep these things in mind when you are considering joining an MLM because these are the types of things that you have to ask yourself. Do you want to risk these relationships that you have now in order to build conditional relationships with everyone? Or do you want to try to find a job that doesn't require you to recruit more people that have to recruit more people in order to make a livable income? If you're in it just for a side gig, it's going to end up causing a lot of other things to consider as well. Keep all of that in mind. Please be assertive. Please say no to MLMs. Thank you so much to my Patreon and channel members for your financial support, which also gets you access to things like Discord, our private chat server, as well as a postcard club, and early access to videos, special other outtakes and content. Be sure to check that out if you would like. I would love it if you leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts on today's video. And if you don't know what to say, please just let me know you're here. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Please consider subscribing and I hope you have a great day, weekend, whenever you're watching. I'll see you in the next video right after these bleepers. It's really funny. Um, make myself bigger. Oops, that's not me. Don't meet the payments. You don't meet the payments. I should say that's what I meant to say. What was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs>